<laughs> hey guys. Are you just going to start off? Welcome to shower party. <laughs> Getting drunk over here. Yeah, I thought I'd drink my, uh, drink my can here. Because Liam, I've got the special edition Narragansett can, you know? They did the throwback to the 1975 design. Because it's uh, like what they used in Jaws. You got a hair on it. Do I have a hair on There's it? There's a hair on the back. Let me get that for you. Uh, yeah, I probably don't want that. Um, yeah, it's okay. I've Sorry. got it, pal. I've got it. Okay. Um, didn't mean to grab another man's mic. Yeah. It's the, uh, design they used in the movie Jaws when the captain, they, they do like a beer chugging competition and he yeah. crushes this can right here. You know what really ruins mm. it is that it says well, 1975 limited edition. <laughs> well, that's, that's, that's so you know that it's the 1975 limited edition, right? But did it say that 1975? Did no. it say 1975 No, but limited imagine edition? I show you this can of beer. And you're like, okay. Right. Yeah, I don't give a shit. But then you see 1975 limited edition can. You're like, that's kind of fucking crazy. I've never even heard of. That's kind of crazy. Narragansett. 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 Can you want to taste it? it? Yeah. yeah. We got plenty of spit on there for you. So. It just tastes like a lager. That's a, that's a beer. It tastes oh. like yangling. That's a beer. <laughs> Very nice. Wow. You should be like, how, the, uh, how enthralling, dude. That was a great way to start. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the guy that eats oh. hot dogs? Joey Chestnut. You should be the Joey Chestnut of alcohol. <laughs> I should be. That'd be <laughs> so sick. Um, did you actually, did you hear about Joey Chestnut? I, I don't know if it was this year, but like somebody like ran up on stage at one point. I it saw was this year. It, it, yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah and he just like chuckled <laughs> real quick. He didn't chuckle. He, like, he twisted their neck. <laughs> I'd have to rewatch it, but he, he gets it with the fucking oh, get the fuck out of here. The guy was just went up like next to him with the sign. He accidentally yeah. touched him and Joey Chestnut fucking twisted his neck as if he was gonna kill him. Dude, Joey is he's unrivaled. He's a fucking legend. The guy was just protesting the farm that they get the hot dogs from because they abuse their animals. But his one mistake was fucking with Joey Chestnut. You don't fuck with the chestnut, man. <laughs> you don't. You don't, man. You mess with the chestnut, oh. you get the nutcracker. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he, like, I, that's one man I would not touch. He, his record is crazy. I don't know what it is. It's like He's undefeated. 50. Yeah. No, there was one year he lost to Matt really? Stoney. But okay. I don't think Matt Stoney competed in the Nathan's Hot Dog Competition after that. Damn, you're big into this hot dog competition. I'm not. I'm not big into it, but I just, you know the names. I'm a fan of Joey Chestnut, and then I also have seen like Matt Stoney eat stuff on YouTube just because okay. it's entertaining. He'll do like ten thousand calorie meals in one sitting in like ten huh. minutes, and it's crazy. Damn. Yeah. It's kind of a little mukbang action for me. I can't do it. A little so late night disgusting. watching him chow down. Do you get hard from it? No, but if I did, that'd be kind of nice. Do you watch ASMR? No. Okay. That was a good one. That was kind of nice, actually. Um, <laughs> you can't fuck with Joey Chestnut, though, because if he can put himself in the shoes of, like, eating 80 hot dogs in one sitting, he mm -hmm. doesn't care about what happens <laughs> to his body. <laughs> no, I don't think he does at all. I want to see Joey Chestnut in the MMA. No holds <laughs> barred match. And <laughs> Just taking any hot dog he can. If he can fuck up 80 hot dogs, he can fuck up you. All right, so yeah. I'm I'm going to double check the record. Okay. Like like his most. I mean, um, he's he's got to be the best in the game. He is. Um I think it's 75. Yeah, 75, 75. hot dogs. Is, is that was the recent up one. here. That, I think he did that like um, last week. Sure. I mean, I didn't actually watch that. Yeah. Because I think no. he had to snap that guy's neck and also beat the record at the same time. Right. He took like a solid little bit. Like he took time out of eating hot dogs in order to <laughs> like <laughs> throttle this guy on stage, you know? So imagine if he wasn't throttled. Imagine if you just, you could have gotten two or three more hot dogs in there. But he instead, probably could have. He yeah. had to kill a man. <laughs> <laughs> he had to slaughter a man on camera. And that was in, Na in the name of Nathan's. He's like, I'm going to kill you. Four Nathans. <laughs> Four Nathans, baby. Na <laughs> Don't you talk shit about his farm. He's like, these are the best dogs I've ever had. I would know I hate 75 of them. <laughs> what if he just hated hot dogs? <laughs> like, this is my talent, but I hate it. <laughs> he probably does at this point. Like, like, do you think he's eating hot dogs to practice year round? No, he's got to be eating literally yeah. anything else. <laughs> he's like, I'm going to go vegan this day. <laughs> he's right. like the... He does the vegan dogs. 
I mean, does some tacos one day, you know. Does he have to practice? Is that a thing that you practice? Uh, what, do you think he just walks up there and just, just does it? Right? Maybe. No practice. No, you got to, like, practice being able to, like, put that much in your stomach, you know? Yeah. I do like how he is skinny. Mm-hmm. Because he's, he's not like he, I don't know, but he, it's very, it's an advertisement for bulimia, but... <laughs> No, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> you just think he works out so he burns 10,000 calories? <laughs> well, the thing the thing is, like, he's not eating like that every single day. Yeah. Right? So he has to, like, prep in order to... <laughs> that would be wild like, if he like, did. Like, like, I don't know what his prep time is for, like, what he's eating beforehand and what yeah. he's eating after. But I know he, he's got to have, like, some kind of cycle that he's like, all right, well... So he's like going to be one. like practice day and <laughs> yeah. then I have recovery days, like whatever it is. You know? he, he's like a coach and he's like, all right, today we're going to fa- practice one hot dog. You have to get that hot dog as fast as you can. Now it's the mm-hmm, form. Mm-hmm. You have to widen your jaw, really get that soaked <laughs> it's in the all water. the form. Soak it the, f- the next one before, while you're eating this one, so that you have a wet hot dog ready to go while <laughs> you're chewing this one. The the soaking always gets me. Yeah, that'd be nasty. Like it's, at no point are they enjoying these dogs. No. Which makes me kind of sad, man. It is smart because you don't have to drink while you're eating. Well, yeah. Should we? <laughs> They're just keeping it nice and slick. Yeah, we should probably them. do that with all of our food. You just wet it up mm-hmm. so you don't have to drink while you're eating. I don't know about that. Sloppy steaks. <laughs> sloppy steaks. I love a sloppy steak, man. Oh, I I, um, oh. I have a little fact. I, we were wrong last week. Um, That's probably going to happen a lot. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> to, la- to be honest with you. <laughs> We're pretty right. We're about right 99% of the time. This is the one time I was wrong, and boy, was I wrong. Um, Last week, I said there hasn't been a mass shooting during a fireworks show, and uh, someone took the challenge. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Were you advertising the beer while I was correcting? No, I just thought it'd be nice while you were talking. You were talking about something serious. (laughs) Be serious, you know. I don't know that. It is funny that someone t- listened to our podcast and was like, you know mm-hmm. what, these guys are right, no one has done it, let me be a trendsetter. <laughs> See, I don't think, I don't think we want to take, take it like any, like, like we can't claim that, you know, we they, can't be like, we inspired this guy to go out. There's That's a lot of shower party far. fans. <laughs> there's, there's more than 10, at yeah. least, at least 10. And of those know? fans, one was probably radicalized in some way. Maybe. And Maybe. it was because of us, and I would I'd like to take credit for that shooting. No. <laughs> I know this is um like a very serious scenario, but I would like to hear some more details. Oh, like, I don't have those. <laughs> oh, okay. We just know that it happened. Um, I can look it up while we're talking, but right. Because um, I'm just kind of curious, like how many people like are injured? Yeah, 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 yeah. Anybody? Like, because so, I, I just want to say a prayer for them, since we inspired this man. I guess there, uh, there's been more than just the one. There was the one mass shooting that happened during the parade mm-hmm. in some town. I don't know. And then a couple died, like maybe five or six, and like 20 were injured or something like that. Right. And then apparently here there was a shooting at a fireworks display that turns into a double homicide, which is Mm. better than a mass shooting. Right. I will take a double homicide over a mass shooting. Double homicide is just a slap on the wrist compared to, you know. Yeah, but the thing is, you you can have a mass shooting without any deaths, right? (laughs) Oh, that's a good question. So maybe, maybe <laughs> some mass shootings are better than like double homicides. Yeah. But not all double homicides are better than mass shootings. Do you think you know? some people have the plan to go to a, <clears throat> a big event and just miss? <laughs> no, I, I don't think they plan to miss, right? <laughs> They're just bad. <laughs> but there are just going to be some bad shots out there or uh, people end up being injured, right? Yeah. They don't quite hit the mark, right? Like, they land some shots, but... He has a lazy eye. <laughs> that's what you always hope. You hope for the lazy eye, like, sniper guy. <laughs> that's the eye he's using to look through, like, yeah. down the sides, right? He forgets his one contact that day. He's like, I thought I put that in. I, I could have sworn I put the right one in. <laughs> right. And then he goes, down. it's so blurry. <laughs> he just misses all the shots. <laughs> Literally a crowd of people. Like, it doesn't yeah. matter where, but... Oh, no. I, I always forget to turn off the fridge. Oh, get that there damn we go. fridge off. <laughs> Let's go back to disrespecting these people who died and, and got injured. In their the real way to do shooting. it is put a, like, well, you have your sight eye and then your yeah. one that you close when you're shooting. Right. What you should do is put an eye patch over the one that you don't use so that everyday life you can get it stronger so that you can aim down the sights better. Sure. You know, you just cover that it might up. Be, that might be a tactic that could work. 
<laughs> you know, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna spit a fact out here. Uh-huh. I'm always 100 percent right. I fact checked this right. Um, pirates actually wore eye patches because mm-hmm. if they had to like go in like a dark place or like oh, know, yeah going somewhere, they could swap the eye patch and the other eye was used to the dark light. I or, do. like lack of light. I did also hear that fact. Yeah. I've also heard mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. they were raging homosexuals. I I wouldn't put it past them. Though. Yeah. I think they were getting whatever they could at any point. Right? Imagine Johnny Depp, Captain Jack Sparrow, just getting railed out by that. He's the captain, though. <laughs> the He's captain, captain gets the most. Jack Sparrow. He gets the most dick. No, he gives the most dick. Is what my assumption would be. Depends on what you like. Maybe he's a power bottom. Maybe he is. Yeah. I can't. I can't <laughs> judge that. You know. I can't tell him what he does and doesn't like. Imagine just Johnny Depp, bent over, mm-hmm. just really giving it to him. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> got it. So yeah. Now that we got that correction out of the way, <laughs> um, <laughs> there's that new. Which uh, is not good. Like I'm very sad to hear about this. Yeah, of course. You know, Thoughts and me. prayers. Thoughts and prayers. I don't pray, but I will pray for this one. You know? Yeah. I'll just think about it real hard. All right. All right. We're moving. <sighs> I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> I sent all my thoughts their way. Oh. All right. Glad we got them over there. <laughs> <laughs> they are. Do they're you, set now. I'm not seeing you do yours. Do you want to pray? Do you want to lock no, hands I, and do a quick prayer? I feel like if I do it in front of the camera, then it's really just going to be for views and it's not going to be authentic and real. Well, I think we So I'd like to wait until after because I think that'd be more respectful for uh, anybody who was involved. You're a Catholic man though. Really, you're just a sellout and you probably should have waited. You're trying to, you need to like. It's all, it's all about the money. Lead us in prayer. Just hold my hand. It's all about the money with you, isn't it? Lead us in prayer. Come on. Son of a bitch. I can't believe it. Are you not, are you not Catholic anymore? Is that the issue? I can't believe you. All right. (laughs) Yeah. Can I can I start with my ideas for yeah 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 for stand up because I know some of the some of the like stand up buddies that you got you know mm-hmm. I know they watch right yeah. and I was thinking I was thinking you know maybe I'll get up there one day right yeah and so my well, like one like a small portion of it like an original joke was I think I told it last time I was talking about my dad being like into like typical suburban dad things mm-hmm. you know talking about the grass and all that but then he's like oh too many blacks are moving into the neighborhood yeah you know. But but from there, I would like. I think it'd be funny to like expand on that and be like, it, like a father's disappointment really affects children, and uh-huh. be like, it's really hard being raised by a racist because I can't live up to his expectations, you know. <laughs> and like talk about how, um, like it's a Romeo and Juliet story, and my Juliet is the black community. <laughs> You really want to have cool shoes, but your dad won't let you. <laughs> right. He won't let me. And it's like, he starts whipping out all these offensive terms and I just can't get them right. <laughs> you know, and I just, like, I can't, I can't be mean to black people properly. <laughs> you know? That is funny. Yeah, it's I think a, that'd be good. It's a thin line that you, like, That's of what you said. Part. Yeah. Like, like, do you think, I, I think saying the Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, that's, that's an easy way. Community. It's like. That's good. I it's, think that's fine. It's easy there because you can say like the Romeo and Juliet's me and shoes, having cool shoes. And like you can really go in on that and like things that you want to have of their culture that your dad won't let you. Mm-hmm. But it does get rough when you say, I try to be racist. <laughs> right. But I mean, <laughs> like I, I wish I was racist, but I just can't be. Okay. I feel like it's more of an honorable thing. People are like, wow. Like, no matter how, how hard he tries, it's just okay. not in his veins. So let's go over you the know? example. What would you say, like, that you, like, an example um, of you trying to be racist, but. I haven't gotten that far yet. yet because, okay. Because that's going to be difficult to make it funny and also, like, haha, white boy doesn't know how to, like. Okay. Like, diss somebody in general. A good cop out would be, right. like, you say typically white racist things mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. apply them to black people. Then you're like, shit, I, that's the wrong one. Okay. Like, yeah, yeah. they all smell like dogs. That's a white stereotype. Is that a white stereotype? Yeah. Black people say that. I <laughs> didn't know that. Yeah. Dude, I'm not far enough in the black community. Because <laughs> your dad won't let you. <laughs> this is so true, man. This is so true. Or you could say, like, uh, I don't know. What's the other ones? I don't know. Like, white people, like, don't put seasoning on things. But I feel yeah, like yeah, that's, yeah. like, the counterpart to, like, the counterpart to that is the black community. Like, just knows how to fucking season some shit up, you know? Yeah. They got that food taste in my guy. <laughs> like, <laughs> What kind of foods? Like, really, whatever they be cooking. <laughs> you know? 
you hit up the cookout, they got mac and cheese, collard, collard greens, you know, whatever yeah, the, yeah. the classic cookout foods are is mostly what I'm talking yeah. about. One cop out that I've used in a joke that I had to deal with race before mm-hmm. is it was about the Chinese, but I said Chinese government. Because everybody oh, hates okay. the Chinese government, even the Chinese people. This is true. They do. They do hate the Chinese government. I stand with the... Wait. Are you supposed to say you stand with the CCP or are you against the CCP? Um, one of the two. One of the good one. The good one. Whatever the good that's what stance I do. on that is, we're going to take that one. I stand somewhere between the first C and the second C. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Nowhere near the P. The P I stay away from. Right. I, we don't, don't even want to get involved with that. No. Um, <laughs> I did think it'd be kind of funny to... Uh, that, to actually say it, be like, yeah, like, and my Juliet is is the black community, and just like Juliet in in the story, right? Like, I, or where no, are you going? No, no. Where are you going? I don't know how to word it properly, <laughs> but like, <laughs> but just like, um, like a fourteen year old girl, girl, like Juliet being fourteen, uh-huh. I don't know how to act around the black community either. Okay, saying I don't know how to act around fourteen year olds or black people. Okay. That's better. I thought you were going a different direction. No, 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 no. I don't know where you thought I was going because I knew where I was well, going. Juliet killed herself, so I thought you were saying, "Oh, my. <laughs> they both killed themselves." <laughs> Suicide <laughs> pact. <laughs> yeah, I, th- I think that's a funny. Like, yeah, I don't know how to act yeah. around fourteen-year-old girls. That's so facts. Yeah, you you have to word it where it's like pretty blatant that you're saying that. But right, I got you. right. I don't, I don't have yeah. the wording down. Obviously. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, these ideas just hit me. I was like, wow, it is. It is tough being raised by a racist, you know? <laughs> I hope he's watching. <laughs> no, he's probably not. And even even so, you know, this it's is all like... all for the joke. Right, because I got a little bit more after, honestly. Um, like, it's just an exaggeration of yeah. of the truth, you know? Yeah, it's not yeah. racist. No. He grew up in racist times, right? Yeah, so it's, some of it's cling... Some of it's ingrained in his yeah. child brain. It clinged on. Right, but, you know, I feel like in comedy, everything's exaggerated, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I also think it'd be funny saying like like I have this strained relationship with my dad. Mm-hmm. People are always like, oh yeah, like like things are really complicated with like my dad or my family. Mm-hmm. And I'll just be like, yeah, my dad hits me and I cry. It's not that complicated. <laughs> it's pretty. That's funny. It's pretty simple. That's a good line. <laughs> I think that one's pretty good. Yeah. That is a good line. He doesn't hit me, you know, <laughs> anymore. Yeah, You're anymore. too old for that. Now he hits you with a switch. Oh man. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> the stories about like uh, my parents being like, "Hey, you got to go outside and like pick your own switch to be hit with." Oh yeah, that's tough. That's what happened to my grandma. Her, mm-hmm. my great grandma would say, "Hey, go pick out whatever you want to get hit by." <laughs> yeah, it's like you make it too big, yeah. it's gonna like bruise. But if it's too small, it's gonna like yeah. cut or sting. I don't know. I have a, a new joke I've been. I just wrote like two days ago, mm-hmm. and I've, I haven't really gotten a good tester on like if it's gonna work or not. Right. It's talking about. Like, when I was, like, five or six, we came into, like, a little bit more money, where, like, we went from lower class to lower middle class. <laughs> right. So, it's, like, we had enough money. You know, we had, it was a lifestyle change. Mm-hmm. We had that buying bologna from the deli type of money. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Don't have to buy from the plastic container and pull the wax off the sides anymore. Dude, that does kind of hit. Yeah. That does kind of hit. The or, deli uh, bologna. We had the, the type of money to move directly across the street, because it had one more bedroom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's true. You did do that. Yeah. You did do that. And the fun part about that is, you know, when you're moving your toys, you can grab your toys and then you have to look both ways <laughs> and then put it away. That's pretty, yeah. that's pretty good. I've been yeah. trying to talk about my, like, my actual life more instead of just having, like, bits and jokes. Mm-hmm. I, don't know, I feel like if I can interwine, like, bigger bits with one-liners and jokes inside, then it might be, yeah. like, more cohesive. Right, because I feel like that's always the goal is to, yeah, you're going to have yeah. those funny one-liners, you're going to have some good chuckles in there, mm-hmm. but you want to be, like, like I feel like if you, if you have, like, a good arc of, like, story or, like, yeah. like you're talking about a topic, a, a subject, right? Mm-hmm. If you if you can span that for a couple of minutes, I feel like that feels, like, like really solid material. It feels material, good. You know? Yeah. Like, I have one joke that's, like, two minutes long, mm-hmm. and it's, like, a good joke through and through, and that, that always feels the best when it, like, because it hits throughout. Right, know? yeah. Man. Nice. That was the comedy hour. <laughs> hour. <laughs> Alright, so uh Forrest Gump. Mm-hmm. Oh god. We're gonna talk about this again. So El- the Elvis movie came <sighs> out recently, mm-hmm. the new Elvis movie. Tell me about it. And uh what's his face? Forrest Gump plays the manager of Elvis in the movie. 
Okay. And I think Elvis and the Forrest Gump are one big cinematic universe. Mm -hmm. Because Elvis was in Forrest Gump, and now Forrest Gump is in Elvis. So I think they're kind of connected. For example, in the uh, Elvis movie, um, Forrest Gump says, Mama always said, it's not L-V-U, it's Elvis. Is that that's a real line? That is actually a real line, but he didn't say the mama said. But <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, well, then Tom Hanks. I feel like that defeats half the half the yeah. line there. You can't just say, "Oh, mama said." <laughs> but Tom Hanks did say. You're, you're acting a little bit like uh, a Lieutenant Dan right now. You're having a bit of a Lieutenant Dan moment. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so you can go on. It's not of you. It's L of us. Right, you said that. That's mm-hmm. very funny to have such a stupid line in a movie. I mean, yeah, that is that is ridiculous. <laughs> I like to imagine that Forrest Gump, you know, when he first taught Elvis the d- dance moves in Forrest mm-hmm. Gump, that he went and grew up, got rich, and was like, you know what, Elvis, we got this thing. Right, yeah. And it was like, you do these little skanky dance moves, be a little whore on stage, and we're going to roll in the cash. Really? You can do all the heroin in the world you want. Really get those girls going out there. <laughs> yeah. Know? It is weird to me to, to think that, like, Elvis was the man slut. Yeah, he was. Like, he was the guy throwing it around town. He was a real big whore. He was. And I detest all of the, all the nasty stuff that he put in the minds of our youth. Yeah, whatever. I think every issue that we have in America now could probably stem back to Elvis. It's all Elvis, man. He yeah. ruined us all before he he ruined himself. You know, <laughs> he made this generation of sluts, <laughs> uh, both con- men and women. I'm confused on how people still like thought he was a sexy little slutty boy when mm-hmm. he like got fat. You know, yeah. Those did the- he like already like brainwash him? Like he already had him like, yeah. in his fucking pocket, right? It's like you know when you marry someone and they're like, mm-hmm. "This is the hottest person," and then they get old, and you're and you're, dis- like, you're disillusioned. You're like, this old hag is still hot. <laughs> that That is when, I feel like, listen, I've never been married, but I feel like that's when marriage get re- gets like real. You know? Yeah. When you're both ugly and you get to yeah. up with each other all the time. You're both old, fat, and ugly. It's just like, it's really every day you make the choice <laughs> to be there and like care for that person. It's not, it's not because you feel anyway. You're like, I'm deciding to do this. Yeah. You know? <laughs> that's when you know true love is when you get to be like 70 years old and you're like, today's the day let's bring out those blue pills we're gonna pretend we're <laughs> right. 21 again you know? right it's your anniversary you're like one time a year buddy let's let's close let's our eyes and imagine it. come on <laughs> and then you're like both have like sprained backs and you're like <laughs> in pain for like a week after you know yeah nobody nobody finishes obviously <laughs> You just get it in there and then go for however long you can. Yeah, I wonder if that's an issue. Can you, like, when you get older, I know it's, like, harder to get an erection. Mm. But when you get it, is it harder to finish? Or are you, like, so backed up that you're, like, ready to blow? Now, this is a good question. Uh, I'd like to... This is a good question. (laughs) This is a good question. I'd like to extend this to any of our grandpas out there. Yeah. uh, Watching. You could let us know about Viagra and how that... How that treats your dick, your dick, man. Like, I don't know. Shower Party is a multi generational show. You should watch it with your grandparents, yeah, yeah. kids, newborns. We have a little segment that we have just for kids. It's a little uh, informational. Do we? Yeah, it's called Shower Thoughts. <laughs> oh, is that, that was your segue into Shower Thoughts? No, we're not going to do Shower oh, okay. Thoughts right now. It's okay. I just think yeah, that. I don't think that's. I don't think that's for kids at all. Yeah. I don't think it's for anybody because I posted the short. And usually, like, it takes a couple, like, an hour, and then it gets promoted to people. Mm-hmm. I think because I titled the last episode Goofin' with God, and then I titled mm-hmm. a short Goofin' with God, mm-hmm. two people saw it in three, uh, four days. Okay, yeah. Two. <laughs> I think they were just like, we're not showing this to anybody, not even subscribers. Like, Right, yeah, just because you put God in there, yeah. really. And also, the first line is, do you think God would know that I was joking when I was jerking off? <laughs> yeah, I did say that. <laughs> that was the or, first line. Yeah, yeah. So, I imagine that was kind of rough for them to be like, you know what, we'll promote this. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel, like, I feel like they were reading too deep into it, honestly. Yeah. You know, just like... Like I was, I was goofing with God, yeah, like, and I was goofing with them, yeah. They just didn't know. They're taking it too seriously, man. <laughs> Fucking TikTok. It was YouTube. That was a YouTube was, short. That was a YouTube short. Yeah, Damn, TikTok for a little bit, not much, but a little bit. Okay. Yeah. A little bit more than YouTube. We'll take it. Yeah. Okay. 
We're big on Twitter, though. That was my segue. Are we? We're not big on Twitter, but no, that was my segue. Really. Uh, like, yeah. uh, like, like, you're just gonna say those things. And it'll be like, are we? <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know where have you. We hit one million on Twitter. Yeah. You've got all the accounts. I've got nothing <laughs> over here. I just I'll give you the up. email password. We don't get any emails, but it's. I spent all the money you gave me on this 1975 <laughs> limited edition can. No, Elon is not buying Twitter anymore. That is what I hear. Um, Elon's backing out. He saw the gas prices and was like, you know what? I can't afford it this month. <laughs> That's such a shitty joke. <laughs> Damn, I can't, I can't pay to fill up my Tesla. <laughs> I guess even, I'm not buying Twitter. Because huh? they don't use gas. Oh, you they run off of electricity. Yeah. That's so funny. You couldn't afford the electricity bill. <laughs> <laughs> um, Man, that's that's really, that's stellar. That's stellar, actually. There's not enough slaves at his dad's emerald mine that month. Was his dad ha- his emerald dad mine? Emerald mine? Yeah, in really? Africa. Yeah, hmm. probably a lot of money in Africa. It is. Yeah, when you have free labor, probably <laughs> <laughs> you know a lot of yeah. money to be made. I think the, the original reason they didn't want to buy Twitter anymore is because that Twitter underestimated how many bots they had. Yeah, I did see. Like that was his reasoning. Yeah. Like, they they severely underestimated and he was pissed off about that. I like to think but that too many people bullied him and he's like, you know what? Fuck you. I'm not yeah. fighting for free speech anymore. I hope that you guys can't talk shit about me anymore. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, he does this shit a lot though. He did it with Dogecoin mm-hmm. and then he did it with Twitter now. Yeah. yeah. I, th- I think I, like his main goal is just the publicity. Yeah, it is. And then he's just going to back out of whatever he wants. He's one of those celebrities like, He's like a rich guy that wants to be a celebrity so bad, but he's not likable. No, not. <laughs> I feel like there, there are. I feel like the majority of rich people are unlikable. Yeah, like any of them that I will see yeah. online, wherever it is, you know, like I don't give a shit about them. I don't well, care. I think it's been so easy for them that they never had to develop a personality. <laughs> right. And you can see that on SNL when he went on there, and it was just so Dude, yeah. drastically unfunny. I tried to give it a shot. I tried to give it a shot. I'm like, you know, I want him to be funny. I want to see, I want to see him do well. I'd love to see him succeed. And then he went on and it was the worst SNL show of like the past five years. And that's saying a lot. That is that. First of all, that is saying a lot. There's a lot of worst SNL episodes. Oh my God. But that was the worst. Like, oh, the Super Mario Courthouse absolutely destroyed me internally. The one that was the worst like, for me was the uh, Millennial Hospital, or oh, the Zoomer Hospital, I think oh. it was called, where they just recited these stupid TikTok trends and like lines from pop culture that young kids would get, and they just ruined them for everybody. Dude, and they think that they're being so funny, because they're like, this is what kids like, right? Like, they're going to get a chuckle out of it. The parents yeah. have heard it, you know, they're going to be like, man, that is so funny. They do say that. Yeah. Yeah, no. You know who did that, right? You're just dog shit. The fucking Minions. <laughs> uh, have you seen Minions? I have not. No. We need to go watch it as a, we, uh, we said we were as a podcast. Go. We'll go like this week or next week or something. Okay. We're going to dress up in our tuxes like all the cool kids. Dude, they're not going to let us in. <laughs> they're not going to let us in. They've, they've outlawed. They have banned anybody in formal dress attire. I know. Seen Minion movie. Okay. See, this is just the theaters trying to segregate us again. They're trying to reenact segregation between... The cool based audience and the normies. So, but instead of by via race this time, it's by intelligence. Right. So you're saying they're trying to segregate. Yeah. Right? yeah. And I'm assuming you think you're on the cool based like end of it. You're Dude, the cool based viewer. I'm hip. I'm young. I right. know the lingo. I'm lit. So as a cool based viewer, yeah. Uh, what is your issue with not being with the normies? Right. Isn't that your, isn't that a goal? Like you don't want to be around the normies. Yeah. So what's the fucking problem? I want to see the movie. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. I want to see the movie in a cool, hip way. I want to be burning hot inside of a cold theater inside my tux. (laughs) Yeah, true. You want to sneak in a thousand banana bunches, (laughs) throw them around, get kicked out. I want my... Now that the movie's out, Mm -hmm. everybody's fucking dressed like a minion. They're not meaning to, but I saw a guy walk down the street and he had a yellow shirt and blue jeans. And I'm like, why is he dressed like a minion? (laughs) I feel like I have to get a yellow shirt just because it'd be funny to wear that. Yeah. Like, like nothing minion related on it, but just yellow shirt, blue jeans. Yeah. And 
people would be like, he's minion. a fucking minion. minion. He's a minion. We'll do that on the next episode. We'll wear a yellow like, shirt and blue dude, jeans. I'm going to say funny. Like, I'm going to say banana. Yeah. And they're just going to start dying. <laughs> just crack it up. Oh. Yeah, we can do that next episode. We'll get the yellow shirt. I have a yellow shirt over there. So I'll wear it like a week straight. Yeah. Just going out in public, <laughs> you know? Oh. Man, that's good. I love that minions have transcended media. And it's just like any yellow and blue thing you see, mm-hmm. I feel like you automatically go minion. Yeah, you know? it's kind of like the yeah. fucking Among Us thing, where yeah, it's like you yeah. see the Among Us all over the place. This is true. What, what is up with these little guys just popping up in our life? You know, They're you little, got little minions, you got a little Mogus guy. What's going on with that? I just looked up the first minions box office. Uh huh. $1.159 billion. Jeez. Jeez. Oh my god. And that's the first that's the Minions movie. That's just number 1. That's just Minions movie. Right? Yeah, just Minions, not Despicable Me. That's not Dis- uh, Despicable Me has to be more. I don't know. Is Let's How much did Minions 2 make? I I, I want to guarantee. I feel like Despicable Me won. In the first weekend in theaters, the new one, The Rise of Gru, yeah. 164 million dollars. Wow. Jesus Christ. That's pretty crazy. Let's look up uh, Despicable Me. Yeah, hit up office. Despicable Me. Because just because like I love those movies so much, I want them to Whoa. to gross more. Five hundred and forty three million. Really? Minions are cuter oh, than Steve wow. Carell and his big wow. nose. <laughs> that hurts a little bit. That's rough. What about Despicable Me Two? Do you think they went up? Oh my I god, mean- they did. Okay, they did. It's almost a billion for Despicable Me too. <laughs> okay, I'll take I'll take a billion. So it still doesn't beat Minions. Yeah, Despicable Minions had to have Me time 3, to probably fucking in the dumpster. There's gonna it's not in production yet, is it? No, that Despicable Me, th- the third one came out, didn't it? No, this so one was Minions two. two: Rise of Gru, the one that just came out. Right, but I thought there were three Despicable Me's already. Are you serious? Am I going crazy? Uh, oh my god, it did. Yeah. 1.035 billion. Because that's the one, uh, it's got his brother. Yeah, it's got his his twin brother. I think they're slated for a fourth one. I, uh, dude, how much minions and Gru can we have? Not enough. Never enough. They have billions of dollars now. They're not going to stop. Do you no, think they're going to stop they're not. milking that, the teat of the minions and Bob the, saying the banana? Teat. <laughs> banana? Jesus. I see on that's TikTok. So funny. The ads for, like, Minions 2, The Rise mm-hmm. of Gru, yeah. has, like, 2 million likes for every advertisement. Yeah. It's not just, like, a post. It's not anything, like, relatable. It's just... It's, it's for the ad. It's the yeah. trailer ad. hmm Gets, like, 2 million likes. Yeah. That hurts, man. That hurts to see. And I understand that, like, people are like, haha, this is funny. But it's also, yeah. like, you're just spending money to put into the system for this to happen again, and it's going to get less and less funny each time. <laughs> Right, but maybe it gets funnier for some people. Yeah. You know? Like, it gets less funny for most people, but there's got to be some nutcases out there that have got the minion, like, every piece of minion merchandise in their home. Yeah. They're just fucking cackling, dude. <laughs> they see Despicable Me 4, they're cackling. They yeah. can't get enough of it, you know? It's like uh, it's like when you say something over and over again, and it gets funnier, and then it doesn't get funny, mm-hmm. and then you should keep on going, and it gets funnier again. Uh, there, there's like a golden <laughs> spike you know because yeah. it's like you say it once it's funny maybe the second time funnier big drop and then it's it's like a fucking mile long you yeah. have to say it so many times but then there's this golden spike that it's the funniest thing you've ever heard you know you just gotta get i think that's beautiful hire us <laughs> we'll, <laughs> we'll wait we will write minions three for Dude. you let's write a test script for minions three let's do it. let's do it <laughs> Cause, uh, cause, <laughs> wait can we do despicable me four in they the, probably are writing that already. They already are. It's already they in production, are. I think. But Minions 3, there's going to be a five-minute thing in the middle. Mm-hmm. It's gonna only going to be an hour and a half long movie. Right. Five minutes of it. <coughs> Bless you. Oh, thank you. It's going to be Bob. Yeah. Just saying directly into the camera. Yep. Banana. 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 Just banana. over and over. And the little beat starts. <laughs> banana. <laughs> banana. <laughs> banana. <laughs> And then more bobs come out the sides, right. and they all are like banana. Dude, and there's like why, a little echo why effect. Why could this already be like a minion, like 
like extra an extra clip after you get the movie you know it's just the one minion but all of them and then it starts like the beat drops and they go banana 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 okay i feel like i feel like you don't do a whole song right like you get the beat coming it's in, five minutes and then you get the other minion saying banana right and everybody just says banana to the beat for whatever the rest like the the last like four minutes whatever mm-hmm. you have right so it's just four minutes of the same exact banana over the beat uh-huh. okay and then it stops and then it like starts the next scene but then you just like bring it back in and you get another solid minute of banana <laughs> yeah. you know you gotta then, hit him with the fake out, the one two. And then he starts panting, like, <sighs> and you're like, oh my god, Bob, are you okay? Bob, are you okay? Passes out. He's like, he's like reaching, he's falling down. <laughs> yeah. And they bring him a banana. <laughs> he eats it. It goes banana, 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 banana. 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 <laughs> That'd be so sick, dude. Can we make that with costumes? Yeah, we could. Just me and you. Do you, do you want and, to do that? Not really. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I feel so cringe watching those people that are like try to like uh, capitalize on trends like that. Mm-hmm. Like they're like minions. We're we're gonna dress up as a minion, go out in public, and say banana to somebody. Yeah. And then yeah. I feel like I just cringe every time I see that type of shit. It's almost like uh like Times Square people who will dress oh, yeah. up as superheroes and try to yeah, yeah sell you pictures. I feel like that's the same. Like that's that's what it is. Really, that's yeah. what they're going for. Yeah. Oh, but and it feels bad. I cringe so hard every time I, you know, the Hoya and like the Monyenyo. Oh, yeah. yeah, and the Monyenyo or whatever the hell I don't that know was. What is. There was a guy that would just go up to somebody in public and whisper into their ear and say that. I can't okay. even say it anymore because that's so fucking cringe. Say it. No. Whisper, whisper in my ear, Liam. No. <laughs> Monyenyo. Jesus Christ. Was that what it was? Yes. It was just like that. Yes. <laughs> and you would do it in public <laughs> to random people. Oh. It's mm-hmm. the worst thing. Oh, God. Uh, I get plenty of, like, cringe videos of uh, people walking up to randoms, right? I, yeah. I assume half of them are staged. Yeah. But just being like, hey, can you record this video for me? Oh, yeah. And then just just being fucking terrifying. You know? like, I, think, I think those are funny. <laughs> those are, sometimes they're funny. Yeah. When they just start, I'll, like... I'll give them 50-50. When they just say stuff and they don't, like... I don't know. They like start <laughs> dancing and stuff. That's I feel funny. Like, I feel like yeah, you gotta dance. You gotta do something physical. You gotta like chase them down or something. You know. Yeah. You have to say like, "This is for my mom. Love you. Rest in peace." And you start doing a dance. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking goblin man. Yeah. I saw one where he just walked oh. away, and the guy was like, "What?" <laughs> and he just had the phone. He's like, <laughs> "That's pretty good." That's for, a like, good two one. seconds until yeah. he comes back. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah. Do you want to do uh, shower thoughts? Yeah, let's hit them with some shower thoughts. All right, user submitted first? Yeah, user submitted shower thoughts. It's the same two people that submitted, Ryan and Lucas. Man. (laughs) You guys are going wild in the comments. Um, My hope is one day we get enough people that will continually listen. mm -hmm. I'm not even saying a large, like, listener base. Yeah, there's there's like a hundred people. If we get, like, if we get, like, six people who leave a shower thought every episode, I don't even have to make any. Yeah. (laughs) I don't. I want to get to my the part point is done. Where we have to like limit the amount of people. I just want to like a hundred people and like fifteen of them comment. We're like we can only pick the best six every time. Yeah, and we get our look through mm-hmm. and yeah. pick the best. And we actually have to pick ones that are actually good. Right. If we get yeah. to that point, um, and Ryan and Lucas have automatic spots no matter what. Yeah, they say. yeah. They could say <laughs> the uh, the least funny, most dog shit thing I've ever seen in my life, and, and we'll still, still say it. it. Yeah. yeah. You can take the spot of somebody that's actually funny. <laughs> 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 this one this one was funny this was ryan mm-hmm. uh hubert in the comments Ooh, bear. yeah uh, my wife stopped sleeping with me a few months ago but mm-hmm. her boyfriend just bought me a nintendo switch so i'm not too upset any thoughts on the best way to thank him see i w- what i really like here is i'm getting the sense of a really healthy relationship it is very healthy yeah. what's going on here it, it seems on. consensual and it seems like you're both happy with the situation that you're in yeah so i would think if you so say you're playing animal crossing mm-hmm. on your switch as one does invite the boyfriend to your island show him the island before he goes into the bedroom with your wife now see that i would say that's a good idea yeah but my one thought is um, what if his reaction is, uh, shut up, pussy. I would never play on a switch. Okay. I'm not a baby. Right? That's fair. That's a possible, right? Possibility. Yeah. I'd give it like 20%, maybe. Um, next time he comes over, instead of just hiding your 
hiding your face in the switch mm-hmm. maybe what you could do is like look up and give them a smile and a thumbs up and then go back to the game okay yeah yeah, yeah. i think that i think that is a good one right there yeah um i thought you were maybe going the direction of like have a conversation with them no no that's say, too much thank you you're really generous like i'm glad to have you in it's the way, family that's way too much for him. that's not the move at mm-hmm. all that's not the move you know or maybe put the headphones on don't play it full blast volume let them have their alone time and have keep that noise Probably. to yourself. Um, even go for noise canceling. Yeah, that Maybe. might be better for your mental health. That might be. Canceling. That might be. Yeah, because yeah. you just want to be absorbed in the happiness that you found in the game yeah. because of your husband's boyfriend, right? Yeah, you don't want to be thinking about what he's doing right now. You want to think about that great thing that he did for you. You know, really just get get lost in the game. You know? Yeah. Maybe in Animal Crossing, Cry if that's your what you're playing, away, you, know? <laughs> you can make your own family. You can start like a second family that loves you. You can't do that in Animal Crossing. <laughs> oh, you can't. You can invite animals to the island. But there's no beast. You have, like, you have like a community. But no, you can't fuck the animals. <laughs> like, trust me, plenty of people online <laughs> wish they could, but you can't. <laughs> yeah. Like, you've seen, like, you know the dog Isabel, right? Sure, yeah, yeah. The people get disgusting online, Liam. It's not even a hot dog. I know. I know. Joey Chestnut wouldn't come five feet within that dog. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> if Joey Chestnut wouldn't go near, she's not for me. She's not a hot dog. She's not a hot dog. All right. The second user submitted one was a Lucas, who last week we said was very condescending. Lucas. With his shower thoughts, saying that we were very interesting and funny. Hey, we thought maybe he yeah. was being condescending. Maybe. But this week, he said he takes his As shower thoughts very seriously. So, thank you. Hey, thank you, Lucas. A man of honor. Yeah. A man of commitment and drive. I like to see it. It's about drive. It's about power. Happy to have you here. Yeah. Okay. He says, what games have you boys been looking forward to? See, I'm sorry. I'm not a little beta bitch that plays video games. I have a life and kids and I'm just too busy living life to the fullest. Uh, All right. uh, This guy's a dick. You ever heard of this little video game called Life? Oh, okay, I'm yeah, that's, that's really yeah. funny. Um, I will tell you, there was the one game that I was like really looking forward to coming out, but then it came out and I still haven't got it yet because you know I'm bu- I'm doing whatever you know. Mm-hmm. Um, it was Kirby in the Forgotten Land, I think it is. Oh, okay, it's it's like open world Kirby, and you can eat like real life objects. You know, it's like almost like Earth is like a wasteland okay. and nobody's there. So what's up with so your? You can like be like a car and shit. What's up with your obsession with eating things? You like watching these people on YouTube watching them eat. You like watching Kirby eat things? Because it's, it's cool, man. You could be like a car. You could be like a vending machine. Are you trying to Isn't like, that like... That's that's crazy. Are you trying to live vicariously? Am I crazy for thinking that that's crazy? That we saw a day where Kirby can become like human objects? Like, <laughs> like human made objects. That's crazy. Are you trying to live vicariously through Kirby that's and these fucking, eaters on that's YouTube? That's fucking crazy. Because if you dude. feel you eat that way, you become fat. That is so crazy. Oh. Do you think you're fat? Other than on that, the I haven't really been like keeping up a ton. I think whatever it was, E3 this year. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to keep going. I think it was E3. I don't know. Whatever big game. It was, no, it's E10. It was. Have you ever heard of E10? We're not doing that. <laughs> We're not doing that. E10 these nuts. Got him. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. Um, yeah, E3. I just watched highlights. Like, I didn't watch the full thing. Mm-hmm. But it seemed uh, pretty awful, to be honest with you. Really? It seemed pretty awful. I don't know if the, I don't know if that's just me. It's not a ton of stuff that I would play, but, you know. Personally, I'm looking forward to um, Pong. Um, wow. That's a, that's a good one coming out. And then Tetris. I'm mm-hmm. looking forward to Tetris a lot. Yeah. Um, actually, Bejeweled 4 is coming out. I'm looking is it? For, yeah, Bejeweled 4. Um, this time, uh, there's better updated graphics, and there's actually multiplayer, so you can Bejewel with your friends. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, um, cool, cool, I'm looking forward to Minecraft 2. Yeah, yeah, um, okay. I heard in this one that there's not squares, it's circles. Dude, how long are you going to go? Um, I'm also looking forward to um, Donkey Kong. It's uh, supposed to be his first standalone video game. That's, uh, I hate <laughs> you so much. Um, no, I'm looking forward. Yeah, like you had to have played Donkey Kong Country. Like you're just lying. No, his first game's coming out this year. Oh my god! Just like Pong was just came out a couple of years ago. Um, 
No, uh, uh, a game I was looking forward to like five years ago was Owl Boy, and I never that, played it. That came out. Yeah. It did. I never played it. So I'm looking forward also, to catching up and playing that one, maybe. <laughs> I have not played that one, but you know what? Maybe you should dip your toe back into playing one video game occasionally. Yeah. Play some Owl Boy, man. Yeah, maybe I will. Not? It's hard to play single player when I play, though, because hey. I'm like, I want to hang out with friends. It, it, do you? Yeah, I play Minecraft. This guy hasn't been on in years. It, what, you just started playing Minecraft again? Yeah. The guy, last month or the something? The boys got a realm, and I was like, I'm going to hop on Minecraft. Like, yeah. Yeah, that is probably the game you've played most yeah. in your life. Like, only that's the only one you will consistently play. Yeah, just because it's easy. Yeah. yeah. It's mindless. I get that. Mm-hmm. All right. Now it's time yeah, for the real it, shower thoughts. I feel kind of bad. I didn't have a... All I had was Kirby's Forgotten Lands. You had absolutely nothing. For I had so many. Upcoming game. I listed like 10 of them. You prick. <laughs> all right. Um, my, I, I got three shower thoughts today. Okay. Um, worst words to wake up to. My thoughts, congrats, Mrs. Sanders. It's a boy. The day <laughs> I was born. <laughs> Gotta be one of the worst ways to wake up, you know? Um, probably yeah. like in the middle of the night. Uh, fire, fire, fire. <laughs> yeah. <I'm sure. laughs> Nobody likes a fire alarm even when it's daytime. Yeah. You know? yeah. Um, it's another one. Oh, wait. Oh, good morning, sleepyhead. You've been asleep for seven years. You've woken Dude. up out of your coma. <laughs> That's so long. Seven years. This is so long. That'd suck, man. What do you I think had changed in seven years? Presidents, yeah, new president. Yeah, they probably had the new Donkey Kong game. Yeah, (laughs) they're probably they went they went to sleep looking forward to the first Donkey Kong game to come out, and then it came out, and they're like, "Oh my god, it's out!" They're so pumped. Yeah, I can I I can throw bananas and swing from vines as the Donkey Kong known from Super Mario. Yeah, that's so sick. All right, um, next one I got is wrong ways to ask for sex. Um, I actually had a couple for the, for this one. Um, you just, you just pull up on your girl or your guy, you know, you tell him, I haven't showered yet today. I'm feeling so ripe. <laughs> <laughs> My balls could not get any heavier. <laughs> yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Liam said, any way I ask for sex is the wrong way. Hey, I'm not asking. I'm telling. (laughs) Yeah. We don't condone rape. Consent is important. My rib just cramped up. You okay? Yeah. You need to take a minute? No. Take a walk? Okay. Can Um, you massage it for me? Yeah. And so, the last one I got here is... um, Play, like Fuck. like imagine like playing D and D at a bar, yeah. you know, um, and, I, and I imagine them just yelling. He's like, the DM's like, I need you to roll for that, you know. And the guy's like, Oh, you want to roll? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to go. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's thanks, good. thanks. It would be so brutal to play D and D in a bar because you're just all just yelling over each other. Yeah, I feel like between the yelling and then. Literally every single person is going to walk up and be mm-hmm. like, what are you guys doing? And then you <laughs> yeah. have to explain what you're doing, you know? And then the homeless dude comes up and he's like... I, he oh, would be in the group. You think? He, he would, would try be, to join? He would be in the group. You know, they do... All the crazy people do try to partake in whatever that's happening at the bar. Yeah. If there's always. an open mic, they're like, can I can I do this? They're like, can I, can I get up <laughs> Do I get a free beer if I do this? <laughs> and the answer is, no, you don't. Ah. Dude, they're just trying to get any life experience they can. Yeah. <laughs> they're trying to gain XP. <laughs> they're, they're trying to gain XP out here, right? <laughs> Every day of their life is D&D. <laughs> Speak to a crowd that kind of wants to be there? I usually I do it with a crowd that doesn't want to be there. <laughs> they're probably not going to run away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good I might just start asking for money on stage instead of the streets it might he would do better <laughs> yeah honestly have you seen a lot of homeless guys just walking into yes open mics especially in Akron um they'll just walk up what? <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> Akron <laughs> they'll pull up and they'll be like yo what's going on here and they'll start heckling and they'll be like can i oh, yeah. can i do a joke <laughs> <laughs> they were like i got a better one than that <laughs> yeah, they do let that. me up there let me up there <laughs> <laughs> oh 
<laughs> that's kind of funny though there's this one dude i don't know if he's homeless we kind of know like people kind of know him because i think okay. he works around there but he's like kind of crazy mm-hmm. he'll just start freestyle rapping in the middle of someone's set <laughs> like like he's like kind of in the crowd yes he is in the is crowd. he fully in the crowd yes he's okay. sitting down watching and okay. he'll start freestyle rapping. did he pay to get in there's no pay to get in you just watch it's free yeah. it's free okay yeah. Can he do, he could do that. Yeah, he can. That's a move it, you could make. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to say, like, he can, but I mean, like, he could just walk in there and do whatever is, is what it's sounding yeah. like to me. He's also a real big church guy, so sometimes okay, yeah. he'll, like, talk real loud about Jesus, and that's a fun time, too. I feel like homeless people just be finding God. <laughs> You know, what, God. What else are you gonna find out? Let's get another God clip. You know, God usually is out on the streets, home, hoping to help homeless people. You just have to find him in the right, in the right corner, in the right alley. Right, and that alley is inside you. <laughs> that corner is just right down in the corner of your heart. It's on the corner of happy and healthy. True. God is Walgreens. <laughs> we do love God here. Yeah, we do. I can't quick wait one, to quick one for my boy. I can't get away get up there and just, you know, worship his feet, tribute his feet and I don't know. I'm going I, I didn't know where yeah, I didn't know what you were gonna say. You it's called me off guard with feet, honestly. It's getting late. It's giggle town. It's gi- giggle time. Lo hee hee. Yeah. Lo hoo. I'm giggling, I'm goofing. Giggling, goofing, gaffing. Some of it's gonna hit, some of it ain't. Yeah. It's I mean, just the life we live in right now. That's how it goes, man. Are you are you out of show notes now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. All right. So we could talk about Forrest Gump. No, I'm actually <laughs> I'm actually more prepped than you thought. Right? Oh, okay. Uh, so I, I have a good story from work today. Okay, actually, let's hear it. Which I work at a hotel. It's like small, you know, um, mm. high high scale, high end, whatever the fuck you want to say. Because I feel like I've said something about work on here before, but never said what I do. Yeah, yeah. So I work at a fucking hotel. Okay. So we have these guests, and I'm gonna profile them. I'm gonna analyze them. Right. Okay. What we got two very white parents. Okay. okay? Old. Got to be at least 60. What's the kid? Uh, the kid, it's an Asian young lad. Whoa. Okay. He's got to be under 60. They outsource. He's got to be under 15 <laughs> or under. Okay. He's going to be my guess, right? Um, so to, I'm imagining he's adopted, right? That's got to be the answer. <laughs> yeah. right? I'm going to go out on a limb and say he's an adopted son. Okay. So they like come back for the night. Um, the mom ends up coming back and she's like, Hey, like my cards don't work. I was like, Oh, well sometimes I get demagnetized if they're like buy a phone and mm-hmm. she cuts me off and she's like, no, they weren't. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, sure. I was like, I'm so sorry. That's, I was like, sure. <laughs> right. They weren't, you know, she's like, just try to say <laughs> like it happens. But yeah. Sorry. What? My damn son didn't make it right. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you just say? I don't think that was a son. My damn my son, damn son. <laughs> didn't make it right. <laughs> didn't make what right? <laughs> you're, you're saying he made the card? Yeah, because he's Asian. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, yeah. So, so I make her the cards. I make her the cards, okay. <laughs> right. She wants to order like room service. We only have 24 mm-hmm. hour, which is what we make like ourselves. Mm-hmm. Like we're not chefs, but there's nobody there to cook the food. So they give us like pre like packaged or like set aside stuff. But then the sun comes out and starts doing it like a hibachi. <laughs> I'm going to get to the sun. Okay. I'm going to get to the sun. You can't just bring up the sun and then not say <laughs> anything about the sun. <laughs> he's important, but he's, he's waiting to get into the room you right now. You teased me. He's so <laughs> waiting. Okay. <laughs> so, so they want to order room service. She ends up going back down. She finally calls me, orders a room service. Right? It's just mm-hmm. me and one other one other guy. So I sit at the desk, listening for the phone. Um, he makes it. He comes back. He's like, "Hey, I'm just gonna go clean up that shit down there. Could you like take this for me?" I was like, "Yeah, I'll deliver it, man. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm fine with that." Um, so I go down there. I mm-hmm. didn't really want to talk to her again. And the Asian kid's already <laughs> cleaning up the mess. <laughs> I'm so pissed. <laughs> um. I did not really want to talk to him again because she had a, an attitude, right? When she goes, uh, no, they weren't. Yeah, I was about ready. I was going to yeah. fucking lose it. Okay. Um, so didn't want to talk. There's always that awkward silence when I'm like setting everything down. Yeah. It's like you don't know what to say, right? So it was like, I'm just going to swallow. I, I'm, I'm just going to do that, right? Mm-hmm. Like, fuck actually trying to make conversation. 
So I knock, the dad opens the door, the mom already at the table, sitting, waiting, ready. Okay. With fork and knife in hand. No, she doesn't have the she, fork and knife yet. She's like, but we she's, want dinner. She's at the table. She's ready. And she's just like, <laughs> she gives me the fucking look. And so I walk in. I see the son is on the bed, like with his phone plugged in, charging, glued to that phone. Okay. All right. That's how I knew it was a young kid. I was like, this guy is fucking He's invested. He's an iPad kid. iPad kid, right? So I go over and I start setting things down. And like set one thing down she's like thank you and i'm like of course thank you of course and every i like, i had to have had like 16 things on this fucking tray and every single thing she, she says thank you and i started saying like i'm supposed to say of course after like someone says thank you yeah i automatically say of, of course. course and after i said it like five times it was like i can't just stop <laughs> saying it now so i'm like locked in this thing of Thank you. Of course. Thank you. Of course. of course. Thank you. I I don't think I'll need like the sugar for a day. But thank you. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and in between, like while she's doing thank yous, thank yous, she's like, hey, Ryan, Ryan, sweetie, come over here. The homeboy does not respond <laughs> or look her way. <laughs> thank you. Of course. Ryan, <laughs> Ryan, come over. <laughs> so I got we had like 16 thank you of courses and <laughs> at least four times she's like ryan come yeah. on come over here thank you of course and this kid did not budge the entire time i was in that room <laughs> he didn't even look over he made no noise did he have headphones on or was he just no. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Like it was so surreal to me that she like like I feel like my mom would have whooped my ass. Me just sitting there and she's like, Hey, come here and I just ignore her blatantly, you know? <laughs> like I I felt like I was in the goddamn Twilight Zone for that one. <laughs> but that that kid has, has balls of steel. He's Thank like, you, I'm going of course. To Ryan. <laughs> Ryan, honey, come here. <laughs> Paul's a steel man. Oh my god! Like I swear, like she gets mad at him, he's just gonna be like, "You're not my mom." Exactly. Like, shut up. He has the ammunition. Like, right. You guys brought me over here on a boat. I didn't ask for that. <laughs> exactly. I did not ask to be here. Now you're gonna tell me where to go. Fuck I would, you. I would have been so much happier in Asia. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. I stand with the CCP. <laughs> or on, he, you stand with the CCP. I stand against, against the, the CCP. CCP. Yeah. That way we can hedge our bets. <laughs> One of us is right. One of us has got to be right. Thank you. Um, of course. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Of course. Of course. <laughs> That's very Dude, fun. I didn't think I'd like... I, just, just don't say thank you that many times. Yeah. Just sit there silently and watch me set your shit down. No, I'll... If I'm in that scenario, oh. I say thank you three times. Mm -hmm. One third of the way in, two thirds, and when they're done. Okay. I would say, honestly, if it's there's a drink, you say, oh, thank you. Then if there's food, you say thank you again. And then when right. they leave, you say thank you. Okay, yeah, yeah. I think, I think that's fair. How fat was this family if they ordered six thing, 16 things for three people? Well, see, it wasn't like like 16 individual like plates or like things that they ordered, right? They ordered 80 hot like, dogs. Like they had things. tea. So I, I had like the tea and the cup, like the little like votive with sugars in it yeah, yeah. i had creamer i had honey i had the actual tea packets okay. like that's like so many things in one you know yeah and i had three glasses filled okay. with ice three waters you know in a bottle so i've like so many things but really they only only ordered a few like, okay actual food things you know so they ordered 80 Nathan's hot dogs and they sat there and made you watch them as they tried to beat Joey Chestnut's record. <laughs> they, they made her, their son Ryan try to finish him. He was trying to escape his fate. And every time she ate one of the 80 hot dogs, she said, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, of, of course. course. Of course. <laughs> That'd be a funny sketch. If you in the hotel room and someone eats them looking you down the eye and says, thank you. Ever. Like, Could I get you anything? Stay right there. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I feel that was such a power move. Like that she, was. she owned me in that moment multiple times. Like with the credit card, with that, yeah. Yeah. She, you were her bitch. I really was. <laughs> I was. You need to step so. up yourself. You need to stand against the hate of uh, hotel workers. 
You need to fight that bitch. No. I, I think I'd rather... I'd rather not, man. Because I feel like that kid, Ryan, would have joined in. And he would have helped you. <laughs> it it would have been more than I was bargaining for. Like, I had, I have to take this kid home after we're done beating up his mom. You knock her out, <laughs> no. and he's like, no, let's kill this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, shit. He's been ready. He's got the little, like, exacto knife. He just slits her throat and, like, you're the accomplice. Touch the knife. He, like, forces you to touch the knife. You're like, you're in it now, too. <laughs> <laughs> exacto knife dude it doesn't go deep but it goes far <laughs> <laughs> he just watches her gargle and spit up blood that'd be such a good day of work you know <laughs> i just gotta like i'm covered in blood just gotta go and sit back at the desk and you're just on camera just sitting there for an just hour just blank stare <laughs> the phone rings just let it go man <laughs> oh man Oh Jesus, Ryan, honey, I have a headache after that. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, come here. That was hilarious. Yeah. So, oh, sometimes life just serves them up for you, <laughs> yeah. just like I served them up. You know, <laughs> just handsome. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. I don't know why he wasn't paying it. Like, I can't imagine someone like if if anybody says my name, I'm gonna look at them and try to like, what's up. Even if I didn't hear them, I'm like, what? Someone says your name, like you, your brain is like, I'm going to listen to what they have to say. Yeah. Not this kid. Uh -huh. This kid was above that. <laughs> so. Was there food or was it just tea? Um, there was food. I don't know. I don't know who wanted what. They got a chocolate milkshake in there. I assumed that was for Ryan. That was Ryan for his gamer fuel. I think Ryan wanted the chocolate milkshake, but then I bring him the chocolate milkshake. <laughs> and he wants nothing to do with anybody. Do you actually set it next to him? No, uh, I, didn't. I just set it on the table. Funny, here you go, buddy, and he just doesn't acknowledge you. <laughs> Ryan, come here. And I'm like, no, man, please, I've got this. <laughs> <laughs> you have to treat him like a wounded animal. You're like, you okay, buddy? Here, no, take a second. Take come a second. You have to, like with the bird, baby birds that you have to like force feed. You have to yeah. like put it in his mouth. <laughs> Open up. <laughs> Gosh, golly! I think uh, hey, Willikers, huh? if, if I worked at a hotel, my dream mm -hmm. scenario would be ro walking in on a murder or finding no. a body. Really? Yeah. I am actually because we got some old people that like live there. Hell know? yeah! Um, which blows my mind anyway that people live in a hotel, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, there like there's like they will die someday, right? This is a <laughs> natural fact. I just hope that I'm gone and I'm not working there yeah. by the time that happens. I hope someone dies soon so that you are working there. And the thing is, happens. like, we don't actively check on them daily. <laughs> yeah. They usually come down and bug the shit out so of they us. They could run away. They could. That's the fuck thing. We'd be like, man, I didn't know. I didn't know that old hag was out of town, <laughs> you know? She wasn't, though. She was right up there. God oh. damn. I want to live the rest of my life in a Motel 6. <laughs> that would be an interesting way to live, you know? Yeah. Are you going to, like, furnish it on the inside, or you want to keep the authentic <laughs> Motel 6 vibe? I want to keep vibe? the authentic, you know, cigarette-stained curtains mm. and, Probably you know, blood a, and piss stains mm, on the bed. Yeah, a weird blood stain on the carpet that you don't know if it was blood or, like, food dye. Right, right. Yeah. Food dye. Yeah. I feel like if you're going to say somebody had food dye in a Motel 6, it's blood. <laughs> yeah. You know? <laughs> I went to a, a Red Roof Inn, which mm. was a mistake. It, yeah, I was looking yeah. for a cheap place to stay, and everything else was like five hundred dollars to stay, like for one one night. Yeah. Um. So I went to a red roof inn. Good price, hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Some reeks of cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> and all across the hotel, all it said was no smoking allowed. But you could tell that was a new policy. <laughs> oh yeah. Because <laughs> it was just smelled like cigarettes could you tell like the signs were no too? yeah, <laughs> yeah the, and yeah. they were everywhere there's one in the elevator on every door they like People someone would, smoking through the whole thing <laughs> yeah like, shit and then uh on the in the middle there was a wet spot that was there the entire mm. time i was there for two nights it was there the entire time it didn't dry no and it was red oh. yeah what's that mean i don't know like it was wet still? it was wet the entire time it was time. actively wet it was actively time. wet because I accidentally stepped in it multiple times. Ain't nothing stay wet for two days. No. <laughs> There's nothing that there stays was, wet for two no days. There was no wet spot in the ceiling that would indicate like a drip. Right. It was just wet. <laughs> Damn, it 
how long since that was there, whatever this mysterious like stub substance yeah. was, how long since it was placed there? I don't know. And you checking in, right? Yeah. So it's been wet for longer than two days. It had to have been there before I got there because I didn't yeah. make the spot. Peculiar. That's disgusting. Well, should we should go to that red roof and record an episode by that red spot. Okay. We could probably find that room number. It's on the second floor. It's maybe like 217, 237, something like that. I think it had okay. us up. Yeah, if you we'll can, figure it out. If we can figure out the room number. Yeah. All right, we could just ask whatever the counts here. It'd be like, hey. Which room has a red spot? <laughs> yeah, which one has a fucking red spot? We'll make it a famous, like tourist place you just go there and like can i see the red spot like, yes it'll be five dollars dude they're gonna have ryan and lucas there in in minutes <laughs> yeah Dog. they're gonna be like i heard about the the red spot in the all, room all two fans it was the um the one by the airport the cleveland airport red roof in and like i mean we could yeah is this a good idea yeah mm, i've heard better <laughs> but it's not bad ask for the ask for the room then tell them shower party so yeah Shower party sent me, baby. Yeah. Are we at an hour? I can't even yeah, tell. Yeah, we are. We're at 106. Oh, damn. So. We made it for the missed minutes last time. So. We did. We did. I feel like, I don't, I feel like, dude, I've got the nasty yeah. bits for my undershirt. I set the thermostat. I feel like I've been, sh- like, fucking showing these the whole time. I'm real, sweating real bad. Nasty color, dog. Ooh. Yeah, you're fine. See oh, God. Guy? Yeah. It, uh, it's the worst in person that <laughs> Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's yeah. bad. But this is like I it's under the button down shirt that I wear. Yeah, yeah. And I've worn this one probably like hundreds of times at this point. Without washing it. <laughs> no, like I've washed it, but you know, the stain yeah. sticks. It does. It's, it's not a, the red stain, it dries. Also it aluminum stays. deodorant does that. That's what you told me, but I started yeah. using the non aluminum and then I still had them on shirts since I started using that. Mm. But then I ran out of that stuff. And I was like, fuck it, just give me the aluminum. I ran out of deodorant yeah. like a week ago, and I haven't used it yeah. in like a week. I don't really smell much. It's not much. It's You have to, you have to get your nose real deep in there for it to smell. I'm not going to. I'm just going to do, like that proximity check was closer than most anybody's <laughs> going to get to it, so. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that. That's the episode. That's the episode. Goodbye. Good night. I'm going to have to cut that out. (laughs) Goodbye. See ya. Goodbye. Good night.